Hi everyone, welcome back to my Lawn Bowls for Fun channel. Uh, I'm Alec. Now I'm sitting in my, um, my office here, in my garage in fact, because it's a pretty miserable day outside. And I was going to go up to the bowling club and do this next session there, but there's little point because I don't actually have to be on the bowling green. Because today I'm just going to talk about the bowls that we use and how to make the right choice for you. So um, it's just as easy to do it here, to be perfectly honest. Nice and comfortable as well. So where do we start with, with the bowls? Um, I've been coaching for quite a few years now and sometimes I have a, a new person turn up at the bowling club uh, to learn to play bowls. And they've uh, seen a set of bowls for sale in a local shop or the newsagent or a charity shop or on eBay whatever reason and they've just bought them not sort of really knowing what they were buying and um, sometimes they strike it lucky but in many cases uh, the, 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 the bowls are the wrong size or the wrong bias for what they're going to be using the bowls for so I want to sort of give you a bit of advice it's worth spending a bit of time over this because it's not as sort of simple a thing as you would think this can be quite sort of um, involved so first of all, um, just to let you know, if you didn't already know, there are in fact um, 10 different sizes of bowls available uh, currently. Uh, not all of them are available new. The largest sizes, uh, size, seven sizes is the biggest size, and it goes six, five, four, three, two, one, double naught, naught, and then there's a new triple naught, although I've, I've not seen any of those yet. There apparently there are triple knots available. Uh, but the sizes seven and six, because they're quite big, are in fact no longer being made by the manufacturers, but you can pick them up second hand uh, if, if you're lucky. Um, in fact, uh, a new bowler last year managed to get a lovely set of size sevens because he's got huge hands. But size seven and size sixes bowls are pretty big. Um, so in, for most people wouldn't be able to use them. And another question that I keep getting asked is um, what weight, you know, are the bowls and, and should we go for the heavy weights or, or medium weights because they do come in two different weights. My answer is always the same. Don't, don't worry about the weight. The weight's sort of irrelevant really um, because it's the size that matters. If you, if you, you want to make sure that you're using a bowl size that suits the size of your hand and uh, they come in two different weights. Uh, I think most people tend to go for the slightly, well, the heavier weight rather than the medium weight because they feel that um, if the bowl is on the green and it gets hit by another bowl, it might well stay there, whereas uh, the medium weight wouldn't. But you're really talking only about a very, very small um, uh, difference in, in weight size. In fact, I've got a chart here somewhere, hold on. There we are, Here, here's a chart, which um, just to give you an idea, let's just take a, a size five. Um, no, no, we'll come down, a size two, sort of a, a medium size bowl. Now a, a size two in medium weight is three pounds in weight. Now if you went for a heavy weight, it's three pounds and two ounces. So it's negligible really. And sometimes you can get extra heavy weights, although there's not many of those around at all, but that'll be three pounds um, and three ounces. Uh, in, uh, in grams, it's, it's 136, then it goes up to 142, and then 145. So it's a, it's a really small amount, and I, I wouldn't worry about the weight really, personally. I mean, I know people may differ in opinion to that, but I, I think that the single most important thing is to get a size that is right for your hand. So how do we do that? This is one of my bowls. There is two ways of checking to make sure that the size that you're, the bowl that you're holding is in the right size. The first way is to take your thumb and your middle finger and create a circle like that again. And then you, what you try and do then is you put that round a circumference of a bowl 
Now as you can see on this bowl here, my fingers are just touching. So that is a pretty good indication that this bowl is a, is a good size for my hand. This in fact is a size one, I've got quite small hands. Now if when I did that, um, they, the, the middle fingers overlapped like this, then obviously the bowl would be too small. And if they didn't meet, if they were like this, then um, they'd be too big. So you're looking for something where your fingers can just about touch comfortably, which they can on that bowl for me. The other way uh, also is you should be able to um, turn the bowl upside down like that and still be able to hold it. If you can't hold the bowl, it's simply too big for you. So that's just another good sort of indication about the size. Of course, the other thing you need to do is, is to try different ones anyway. I mean, you just saw there, that's a size one. I can actually get away with a size two. Um, I can just about manage that. Although when it's wet outdoors, um, I find the two sometimes slips out my hand. I have to put sort of, you can put, buy, buy this paste to put on your fingers called Grippo. And um, that helps grip the bowl a little bit. Although if you put too much on it, it makes the bowl slippery. So you've got to be careful how you use it. But I can get away with the ones and twos. And if you find you're not sure what size you are, because both feel quite comfortable, then you really do just need to try them. Try them out and, and see which is, is more comfortable for you. Um, but usually there's not much difference between a one and a two or a two and a three. But of course there is a bit of difference between a, a double zero and a size seven. You know, then they seem quite big. Although having said that, the actual um, size difference isn't very big at all. To give you an idea, a size five is in fact five inches in diameter. Okay, and um, they, they only actually go up or down by a sort of a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch. It's not very much at all. Yeah, so to give you an idea, I'm, I'm reading off of a sheet here, if you, if you don't mind me doing this, I can't remember all these sizes. But a size five is five inches diameter. A size four is four inches and 15 sixteenths. Um, uh, size three is four and seven eighths. So you can see they're only going down by sixteenth of an inch. The smaller size, um, which is a size double naught, is four inches and then nine sixteenths. Um, in um, in millimetres, the, the biggest is 127 millimetres and the smallest is 116. So there's not a great deal of difference between the sizes, but of course when you do, it's surprising how much difference it does make though. If you hold it, I, I can't hold a bowl, a size seven bowl, I mean it's ridiculously big, it's like a cannonball, massive. Um, and the double zeros do seem very small. Um, as I say, there's even a triple zero on there, but I've not actually seen any yet being used. They've only just come out. It's, it's really aimed at people with really small hands or, or youngsters that were trying to get into the game, so they're producing a smaller size bowl. So that's, that's really about as much as I can tell you about um, size anyway. Make sure you do practice with a few. Go to uh, most clubs, we've, we've got a couple of dozen sets of bowls at our club that people can use. And ask other members as well if they can, if can just borrow their bowls for a few ends just to see what they're like. So that's the size. Now, the next thing um, we need to talk about is bias. Because that, it, it can also be a bit of a problem if someone buys a set of like lignoids, for example, Taylor lignoids, which have got an extremely wide bias. You try and play those uh, on a very fast screen or indoors and you've really got to go out a long way. So it's going to make, make it hard work for you. So the biases do vary quite a bit. I mean, just to give you an idea, this is, this is, um, there we are. This is a Taylor chart, which shows you the different biases. I mean, they're, they're not actually true on, on this, but it gives you an idea which is the wide bias bowls and which are the narrow bowls. And um, in fact, I've done a chart here, which I typed out myself, which I use uh, to show new people um, what they should be aiming for. Now, if you look at this chart, you'll notice that um, on the left, there's a, a couple of green uh, boxes. Then there's the, the blue box in the middle, and then there's the orange ones on the right. I recommend to new people that they, they only want to have one 
a set of bowls, there's no point in having more. So you want something that's going to be, that's going to cover every eventuality. So you're looking for a set of mid-bias bowls. There are plenty of, uh, on the market that you can buy. Uh, there is a good range out there. And if you, for example, just bowl outdoors, then certainly they would be fine for that. And you could go maybe sl something slightly wider if the green's particularly slow. But if you're, for example, bowl on a very fast green or just going to bowl indoors, then you certainly don't want um, anything slow. You want something, that, uh, anything with a wide uh, uh, bias. You want something with a narrow bias or a narrower bias. So I recommend um, out of this, this this selection here for most new people to go for the, the, the middle section. You can't really go wrong with that because that will cover you whatever position you play and whatever conditions you play under you you would be able to use those bowls effectively uh, quite well if you um th the only reason you would change i've got three sets of bowls believe it or not and let me explain why i've got three sets of bowls what do i need three sets for in fact, these these bowls here these are drake's pride professional it's a it's a lovely bowl this this is a medium bias bowl and i can use that anywhere i like really but what I do find is I use this uh, outdoors most of the time. Um, but for indoors, uh, I use this bowl, which is a bit narrower. Okay. Although I would only really use this bowl if I'm leading or playing two, because um, there's no point in having a wide bowl because there's no bowls in your way. You've got nothing to draw around. So they take a tighter line to the jack and they, I find them easier to use. But if I'm going to skip indoors on carpet on a very fast screen or on a very fast screen outdoors, then I would use the, the Drake's Pied Professional because they do a bit more of a bend. So if you get blocked out, you can bend round bowls, whereas you, you would find it difficult to do so with, with, with this one. So they're the two main bowls I use. But I've also get I haven't got them here. I've also got a set of um, lignoids, Thomas Taylor lignoids, which are extremely wide. I don't use those doors at all because they're just too wide for an indoor or a fast surface. But if early on in the season when they're outdoors, when the grass is still quite long, we've not cut it too short yet and it's been raining and, and basically the green's very slow, then I'd use um, those outdoors because at least they still give a fair bit of green. If I used, if I used these ones outdoors, I'd have to bowl straight down the middle, which is uh, pretty useless if they get, then get blocked out. So that's why I have three sets of bowls. Now you don't need to worry about all that. All you need to do is to buy a good set of bowls like these ones, like the Drake's Pie Professional or Taylor Ace. Um, I'll give you another one here. Um, Taylor Blaze, they do another one called Taylor Blaze. Uh, Hensu like do Classic Twos, Tiger Pros and Tiger Evos. They're all very good bowls, They're a mid bias bowl. And um, Aero Quantum also. And now I've mentioned the different makes there. There are in fact five makes. There's probably more than that. I'm talking about what's available in, in the United Kingdom at the moment. Um, Drake's Pride, uh, which are uh, based in Liverpool. Um, Aero and Henselite are Australian made bowls, but they're available over here. Thomas Taylor, um, I think they were based in Scotland, but they're owned, are owned by a company in Australia now, but I think they're made in Scotland. And Allmark. Um, and I think they're made in Australia as well. Actually, I'm not certain about that because I don't, I don't have any. But uh, so they're the five main makes. Um, although most people get either Drake's Pride, Aero, Thomas Taylor, Henson like. So if you look on on the sheet which uh, I made out, you can see there. I would recommend for a new person to either go for a narrow stroke medium bias or the medium bias or mid bias. I wouldn't go for the very narrow ones because they, they do rather mean if you play higher up in, in, in the team, if you're playing skip, you struggle to draw around things. There are skips that do like them though because they're good if you're going to fire. But I still think that um, whenever I use them, I found them a bit restrictive in that, that I can't bend around when I need to draw, when I'm blocked out, and sometimes you don't want to fire. In fact, I'm not very good at firing anyway, to be perfectly honest. I prefer to draw around. So I find these, if you're going to play a higher up 
um, uh, in the team playing three or skip, they're, they're not really ideal. Um, if you're going to lead all the time, then fine, and they're, they're a good bowl for doing that. But for new people, the, these two here, these two sections here, would be um, the, the narrow stroke mid bias and the mid bias bowls. If you just bowl outdoors, then you can go into the, the, the wider bias as well, if you, if you wish. But most new people tend to be leading most of the time anyway, so there's no point in having a really wide set of bowls. I taught a lovely lady um, a couple of years ago, she came to uh, me indoors and um, she bought these uh, lignoids with her. <laughs> First of all they were too big for her hand anyway and they are the widest bowl that you can bowl with so um, I, I, I gave her some bowls out of our coaching uh, selection and straight away um, uh, the, the, the difference was astonishing. She, she realised that she had bought the wrong bowls. Uh, as it happens, I, we managed to sell them on quite quickly to someone else that wanted a set of those, so it was fine. And she bought another set of narrow bowls, narrow line bowls, and uh, that, that were fitted the hand better. So don't rush out and buy a set of bowls. Right. Price-wise, well, second-hand bowls you can pick up for, I've seen them up for sale for £20, although they're pretty old. Usually uh, 40 or 50 pounds will get you a reasonably good set of bowls and if you spend 100 pounds or slightly more you'll get a very very newish set maybe just a couple of years old. Um, it's just finding exactly what you want second hand that's the problem they're not easily obtainable. Uh, of course if you buy them on eBay you get a better choice but you have to pay postage which may put you off but even so you can generally pick, pick up bowls around that sort of price. Around, uh, if you spend 40 or 50 pounds, there should be a reasonable set of bowls. They'll last you a long time as well. Now, if you want to buy new, uh, obviously they're a lot more expensive. Now, the cheapest set, I'm just looking at this sheet here. The cheapest set um, is, is just over 200 pounds. Uh, all marked sterlings are 200 pounds, 210 pounds. Uh, Drake's 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 pie bowls about two hundred and twenty-five, two hundred and thirty pounds. This is I'm talking about black and brown here. We'll talk about colour in a minute. Uh, Thomas Taylor two four five two fifty that sort of mark, and Hensel lights are two hundred and eighty pounds or more. Uh, Aero don't do black or brown bowls; they just do coloured bowls. If you want coloured bowls, a bit like my multi-speckled and blue ones here, or they purple anyway. Lovely bowl that is. Um, you have to pay more. So the cheapest uh, colour bowls you buy is around about two hundred and eighty pounds. And if you want to buy um, Thomas Taylor and slightly more, two hundred and ninety. Uh, Hensel Light are two hundred, uh, three hundred and thirty to three hundred and forty-five pounds, depending on what colour it is and if it's multicoloured. And the most expensive are Aero bowls, which is what this one is. Um, and they are 345 to 395 pounds, so quite a bit of money. But of course, they will last you for years and years and years. Um, so it's, it's, it's money worth spending, really. Now, I've been asked a question about uh, the information on bowls. There we are, I've got two sets here. On, on, the, on the buyer side of the bowl, as, as you probably um, saw me tell you on another um, video I did, that's where all the information is. Uh, for example, they've got the stamp, the world stamp. Now the world stamp is something that used to um, be quite important, but it's not so important now. Um, the, it, when you're, a, bowl, a set of bowls are made, um, they're stamped. So this has got 26 on it, which means it was made in 2016. So it's stamped for 10 years. And it means they've been tested on a machine and they all do, they've all got to do exactly the same thing. And then they get this stamp. And for domestic play though, it doesn't really matter. It's only if you get to the, the latter stages of a national competition uh, where they, if they're not stamped, if they're not in date, if they're over 10 years old, you won't be able to use the bowls. But it's only at the latter stages of national competition. So not many of us are gonna reach that stage. Um, you can in fact have them restamped. They go away to be tested and put on a ramp and as long as they all do the identical thing uh, they can be stamped for another 10 years. So if you have got an old set you want to 
um, update then you can do that but it isn't really necessary for domestic play the rules have been very much relaxed uh, recently so it's not a big issue the other information on there it's got one H which means it's a size one it's a heavyweight bowl and there's also a unique serial number for each set of bowls that's only in case you should ever go and play someone that's got an identical set of bowls to you then you would be able to tell which ones are which from the serial number um, there's also uh, normally this has got like Drake's Pie Professional it's got the manufacturer and the model and um, this one in fact hasn't got that on the on the aero bowls they put the manufacturer and the model on the other side so that's what that information is anyway so I think really uh, for now that, that covers it I just wanted to show you how important it was to make sure you got the right size for your hand that is the single most important thing and then ideally look at finding uh, a set of bowls where the bias uh, will suit you and you want really to aim at a medium or mid a mid bias bowl and that will cover every eventuality for the first sort of seven or eight years of bowling i had just the one set of bowls and, and i didn't think of changing them it's only in recent years when i've gone from a very slow green outdoors to a very fast green indoors i've bought two sets of bowls and then I bought another set so that I've got you know basically can cover every eventuality because I do vary my the position I play I play lead and two if I'm uh, playing for, for the county for example but at club level I often skip so I want a bowl uh, bowls for different reasons um, but most people uh, new people tend to play in the same position so one set of bowls is fine I think uh, that just about covers it. If you've got any questions, um, you know, just down below, ask me and I'll see if I can answer them. I'm sure I can. If you want me to do a session on any other subject that springs to mind, and again, I'll try and fit them in at some point. Um, and uh, I hope that what I've told you is uh, you find useful and um, you find a set of bowls that you'll be very happy with for, for many, many years and bowl well with them as well. I'm sure you will. See you later.